Today we are going to be discussing fractional replication of experiments. What is a fractional replication of experiments? It allows you to reduce down the number of factors and treatments that are required to prove an experiment. Seen here, with the number of factors increasing, it goes to a 2 to the k power requirement. So 2 to the 1 would be 2. 2 squared would be 4, 2, 3 would be 8. So with the number of factors increasing, this number of treatments increases exponentially, requiring that many treatments for the test to be valid. Moving forward, a fractional replication of experiments is just a subset of the full factorial experiment. Whereas in the full factorial experiment, you have to do the 2 to the k power. In a fractional replication, you do 2 to the k minus 1, reducing it down by a whole power of 2. By doing this, it will, in turn, make it not as accurate due to the fact that all the high order interactions are not being evaluated. You do save time, resources, by having less treatments and runs. It helps optimize the experiment by having fewer uh, large-scale factor tests. As I said, in these experiments, we need 2 to the k in full replication, k being the number of factors, and this increases exponentially. Here's an example of what just three different factors, A, B, and C, requires eight different runs. By using a frac fractional replication of experiments, we could reduce this down to four. It reduces it down to two to the k minus one. It still gives us accurate results, and it can show the cause and effect. It has to be balanced and orthogonal, and by reducing down the factors, we replace the higher order interactions with complex interactions using A, B, allowing for less runs. Here's some of my citations. Here's the reduced down version, and it reduced it down to four runs instead of eight.